Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with the brand new Citation X from Flight Effects. This one, we're gonna go ahead and get a web FMC working. So let's go ahead, jump in the plane. So using an FMC is awesome, right? Being able to click on the buttons and do all this work from it. But having to always move your camera, put your head down, wouldn't it be nice to put it on another screen? Well, let's go ahead and make a change. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download a file from my Dropbox, it's linked here. By the way, if you're gonna download this, you're gonna use it, do me a favor, please hit the like and subscribe button because, you know, it's a lot of work and it would be nice if I could at least get a subscribe and a like. I don't need money, but it is nice to have some acknowledgement of how this helped you out. All right, so when you download the zip file, there's two pieces. There is a CDU server. This is the app that you're going to run, which is gonna turn WebSockets into a web server. If you're not going to use the web UI, you're gonna use spad.next and link your WinWing or CS uh, system to it. You never actually run this. All you ever have to do is use the mod. This mod, you're going to drag this folder and you're going to place it in your community folder. So once that's in your community folder, that is gonna start sending WebSockets. And those WebSocket events are gonna end up going to that server, which is gonna turn them from WebSockets into HTML. Now, the other thing that's cool is I am working on an iPad app where again, you'll never need to use the server and you'll be able to point the WebSockets directly to the iPad or even a remote computer that you want running the web server. I would take this, I would go ahead, I'd hit the copy button. I have all my community under there. And as you can see, I've already got my CDU mod installed. So now that that's installed, back to that zip folder and you're going to have extracted this and placed it somewhere else, like say on your desktop. Once that's on your desktop or another location, you'll see it like this. It's now running. You'll be able to double click on it and it is going to launch. You're going to see it is waiting for simulator and it takes about 30 seconds. I've set a timeout of about 30 seconds in between intervals and it's because there's actually some LVARs now set up inside of it so that you're able to actually point it to a different computer. Um, so you need to be able to set those LVARs. In my case, I do it with spad.next. I got a whole bunch of buttons on my stream deck that change which computer or iPad I'm actually sending the application uh, to. So that way I don't have to make any changes. So I always like using the sound. So you're gonna go ahead, hold down the control key and click on this. That is gonna go ahead and it is going to uh, launch it into a browser. So we're just gonna peek over like this. We'll bring it back up our FFX CDU. Uh, so now we can see that information. So the top right screw is going to change us over and it's going to give us the right CDU. Uh, the left screw is going to give us uh, the left CDU. Uh, it is possible, if you want to, go ahead and control C, open up another tab, control V. And here I could have this one on the left and this one on the right. So it is possible to go ahead, double stack them, put them side by side on a screen and have two CDUs running simultaneously if you want the left and the right hand side. So everything's there. It's gonna use all kinds of uh, WebSocket H events. It's gonna send those back. So if I wanna go to my flight plan, I'm at CYOW. I can go ahead, get CYYZ. Boom, that's into my destination. We're gonna go to our departure. We are currently sitting on runway 32, I believe. Uh, so we're gonna go next, hit the old 32, uh, YOW4, activate. Uh, and then of course we can go to, right, hit nav, departure. We want the arrival. So our arrival is gonna be a star. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to use the ragged six. We're gonna go from, uh, to here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate that so now when we go to flight plan and we hit the next we can see all of our legs and it is fully controlled so yeah i would say this thing is pretty darn cool 
Uh, again, here's the link. I'm showing it up in uh, the little flag at the top. Go ahead, click on that and get yourself the download. Again, this is working well. I think I got everything mapped out. Uh, the one thing that kind of isn't perfect is you're gonna find that under progress, uh, I can't get these to align perfectly. These are in columns, these are in rows or lines. It, uh, it's the one thing that outputting I just couldn't get. So I think you're gonna like it a lot. And if you do, do me a favor, do a solid. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and come along with us next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.